Hello everyone! Today I'm going to guide you step by step through the process of creating your own stunning depiction of a solar eclipse. We'll explore blending techniques, color gradients, and the interplay of light and shadow to bring your eclipse to life. The colors that I'm starting with are a Mars black, I have a magenta, cerulean blue, and a cadmium yellow, a light cadmium yellow actually. And I am using titanium white, and I may throw in some bright red. I'm not sure of that one yet. So get your brushes and let's start painting. The first thing I did was tape my edges down, and I actually taped my, this is a watercolor paper that I taped right down to my table. I have this tape and a pencil and I'm going to use this as my sun and as the moon. So I'm going to put it over slightly and I just want to light line to trace that sun where that sun's going to be. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun blocking out the sun's light completely for a brief period. This happens during the new moon phase when the moon aligns perfectly with the sun and the earth. So what I'm gonna do is have my, my moon come in from the left-hand side over my sun, and I'm going to leave a little spot right on the edge here before it actually is a total eclipse. So I am going to make this is going to be my moon. So I'm going to have a very, very light area right there. Now I'm just erasing this line. And this is going to be the darkness of my moon. Okay, I'm going to start with the background. In the area around that bright, bright crescent sun area is going to be lighter on this side. And it'll appear to be a little bluer or darker on this side. So let's get some of our light colors in this area. And I'm going to start with some of my, my white. And I'm going to put that right down next to that line. I don't want it to dry, so I'm going to have to work pretty quick. Okay, we got some right next to that sun. And I'm going to pick up some yellow, blend that right in. Paint the yellow all the way around the circle with less on the left hand side where it's dark. Now I'm going to pick up some magenta paint and mix it in with my two inch chip brush that's dry. When I use the magenta on the left hand side, the paint's a little dry, so I use a tiny bit of water on my two inch brush and blend that in. I pick up some blue on my two inch brush and add a little bit of magenta, making it a little purple, and some Mars black. I continue to wipe my brush off, even adding a little bit of water and then wiping it off as I don't want two complementary colors to mix together. So yellow and purple, you do not want to mix together. It'll make a very muted color palette on your painting. So when you're painting, keep in mind the color wheel and how colors mix. Don't mix complementary colors together when they're wet, like orange and blue and yellow and purple. They'll mute your painting, turning your colors brown. Here I'm mixing a little light blue and adding some white to my brush and then I make sure that my two inch brush has a nice chiseled edge to create some clouds and establish more interest in my painting. Blend out the edge of the cloud with a wispy half circle motion. I mix a little more white and yellow together and keep adding paint around the crescent of that sun to make it nice and bright. Using my round brush and white, I want to make a bright, bright area 
where the moon is covering the sun and sun just bursts through, creating what's called a diamond ring. All right, now the fun part, let's get this moon going. And I'm gonna just take some black, I'm gonna take some blue, and I'm gonna take some of my magenta. And I'm gonna just kind of paint that right in. Water down your paint a bit to paint a clean edge. You don't want your paint sticky. Be patient and slowly paint the moon, making sure it is circular. Let's just make sure that this is nice and circular. I have some strips of paper and I have a clean brush. And now I'm going to put these kind of these rays that kind of start from right here and they kind of come out in different ways. So I do want to, I'm using a little water with my paint. I don't know how sticky your paint is, like I said, and I'm using some white. You can mix a little yellow in it just so that it's not so stark white. Okay, you want to point on your brush. And I'm going to just kind of, where you have the biggest part of the crescent, you want to have a little bit of a ray to come out. And I'm just going to the long edge of it right there. Just to kind of Continue blending a little bit of white around the rays to get that shine that you want. I hope you enjoyed learning about how I painted this solar eclipse. It was really fun. Good luck and I'll see you next time.